All right, next up is the spinal gallant reflex. This reflex is typically still around with people, with, with children that were born C-section. Okay, now what will happen is instead of going down the birth canal and getting the pressure um, from the mother's vaginal wall, squeezing on that nervous system, setting up some of those receptors, the child skips that, not to mention they skip all the normal flora that they get inoculated with during that time, and that can cause gut issues later down the road, so that's part of the history that, uh, that we'll talk about, but they miss that pressure, and when that happens, the gallant reflex never really goes away. And we see this a, we see this a lot with kids that are bedwetters, um, especially bedwetters later into their lives, that this reflex is, is still present. So if your child is a bedwetter and you do this test, you gotta be careful because it could actually make them, make them urinate when you do the test. So the test is simple, we'll show it to you. Testing of the uh, spinal gallant reflex is actually very simple. Um, what you want to do here is you actually want to touch your child's back. And so when you look at your child's back, you will see a group of muscles coming down. The center, here's the center of your child's back, and then you'll have a group of muscles on each side. So when you do this test, you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to, rub, you're going to run it down with a little bit of pressure down those spinal muscles just like this. Like I'm doing just enough pressure here that I'm actually deforming the skin a little bit, but not so much that you're actually going to make them turn red and you just run down like this. Okay, what you're watching for, oh, and you can run up as well, excuse me. So if you run up and then that, down and then up, what you're watching for is you're watching for any deviation in the hips. You can see I went a little too much pressure there because it made her back turn red. But when you come down with a positive test, you're gonna see them pull away from the stimulus like this, like it's tickling them, like it's annoying to them, or they're just trying to get away from the stimulus, whether down or up. That's how you test the spinal gallant reflex. We will show you how to remediate this um, with something called carpet angels. So there it is, the spinal gallant reflex. Thank you.